Okay, um, so I've been uh, reading about how uh, in Congress, the, both the Democrats and Republicans want to extend these federal student loan subsidies, but they're just fighting over how to pay for them. Um, well, well, I happen to think that these subsidies are unconstitutional, as well as all federal involvement in education, period, and that they should just be allowed to expire. Do you agree with me? The federal government's role has never been to be our educator. Um, years ago, the federal government got into the student loan business in part because I think the idea was people will sometimes go from one state into another. The, the, the state where they live, where they permanently reside, isn't necessarily the same state where they go to school. So it's understandable why they set up a program to help some students and they wanted to cr create some kind of an incentive to do that. The problem is that like so many federal government programs uh, that, that have in them some, um, some noble aspiration, if, if they stray very far from what the basic purpose of our limited purpose federal government is, it's inevitably likely to create other problems. And we've gotten to that point, which tends to prove uh, up the validity of some of your concerns underlying them. To, to explain what I mean by that, um, when the Affordable Care Act passed a couple of years ago, it was reported that what Congress had done is to restrict the ability of private lenders to issue loans to students, effectively making it impossible to issue student loans if you were anyone other than the federal government. At the time, I thought, this is really weird. Why on earth would they want to do that? I later figured it out. It was a funding mechanism for Obamacare. The idea was, in essence, if we can capture this market, prevent people from going somewhere else for their loans, in time, when the time's right, we can borrow at rate X by issuing more debt, issuing more U.S. Treasury instruments. We can then loan money to students at, rate, at a rate of 2X or 3X. And the difference between what we pay for that debt and and uh, what the students pay for that debt will go into the government's coffers and go to help fund the implementation of Obamacare. It was a terrible idea, which reflects the fact that it was also a bad idea for the federal government to get in and crowd everyone else out, which to me suggests maybe we should get the federal government out of it altogether. Now, there's not a court in the land that would likely agree with me, uh, uh, w w would likely agree with the, the statement that it's unconstitutional. And so to distinguish between what the courts are willing to recognize as unconstitutional and what uh, some of the rest of us might recognize as constitutionally uh, problematic, I'll refer to this one as constitutionally problematic and also problematic from a policy standpoint. I don't necessarily see a lot of political appetite to get the federal government out of the business right now. But if there is anything that could move us in that direction, it's what they've done with Obamacare. We'll, we'll see what happens.